Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number 8 of Hot Roulette. And in the last video, we ended off with a 4 game win streak. I'm trying to bring it up to 5th and 6th one this episode. And I'm really looking forward to this 6 game win streak because if we can get a 6 game win streak, we can open up 2 15k packs. And as you guys can see, there are some pretty awesome cards out right now. I've not played NHL 17 in so long. And uh, there's some awesome Team of the Week cards. There's some awesome November cards. So there's definitely no better time to play some Hot Roulette. And uh, anyways, let's get right into the team now. So this is how our team is looking. I did some rearranging since the last episode. And in the first line, we got Carl Hagelin, Jordan Stahl, and Jason Palmville. On the second, we got Radulov, Barkov, and Shen. On the third, we got Johansson, Laterra, and Frolik. And on the fourth, we got Drew Stafford, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Boone Jenner. So pretty good offensive lineups. We'll show you guys the defense as well. Tyler Myers now playing on that first line, left defenseman spot. A lot of people were complaining to move him up to the first line, so that's what I did. He's playing alongside with Hampus Lindholm. Uh, Trevor Daly is playing alongside with Mike Green. And Colton Pareko is playing with Andre Markov. So our defense is not looking bad as well. And our goaltenders, it is lacking just a little bit. Uh, I mean, Michael Hutchinson, Al Montoya, they have been solid goalies overall in the higher divisions, but I'm still looking for a good goalie as well. Maybe we can pick up that November Henrik Lundqvist if we can open up some packs in this episode. But anyways, that's just about it for this team. I'm going to quickly get into the first game here. I'll meet you guys in there. Alright, so first game. Oh my goodness. He's got Kessler, Steve Sullivan, and Phil Kessel on his first line. So he's already got a uh, hot hero on that line. So got to be a little bit careful. Him being the face off on me as well. Gotta be a little careful, but uh, we'll get this game started. Let's go. Oh, walk in, Shen. Back in forehand. Oh, close one. All right, back to the point. Set up a play here. He's not biting. He's just sitting right in the middle, which I kind of like. There it is. Oh, Radulov sh sh should have shoot it far side there. Oh, come on. In front, Barkov. There it is. We tuck it five hole on Curtis Joseph. He's got a really good team, but he's just standing right in the middle, and I'm just going to keep drawing him out and see if I can get some more goals here. Alright, so definitely not a bad start to our first period. 7-2 in shots, 4 minutes time on attack to 55 seconds, so we're definitely all playing him just a little bit. Let's keep getting some more shots on net, put the pressure on him. Oh, go Radulov. You can beat him. You can beat him. There it is. Backhanded. I was going to do that little double backhand there, and it did work. Radulov getting him one goal, and uh, we just score right off the bat in the second period. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Hagelin. Pass it. Oh, Jordan Stahl gets absolutely robbed by Curtis Joseph. Come on, back to the point. Daily. There it is. Posting in. We're not going to miss that one. Too open of a chance there. And, uh, oh, there was actually a tipped goal. I think that was Alexander Radulov who scored that. Palmville, Jason Palmville. All right, I will take it. We're now, we now have a three-goal lead. Not going to complain about that at all. Oh, wow, what a ripper from Kessler beating Hutchinson there. Not going to complain about that goal because we were on the penalty kill there. Taking a lot of stupid penalties. I know there's a new tuner set that's been posted out in the past couple weeks so still getting used to the gameplay here but anyways we're down or we're still up two goals let's try to maintain this lead just a conversation we had with Simone Gagne yesterday the procedure that he went through we'll talk about that in a moment penalty coming but I don't think we're gonna have a penalty pro league has scored he beats Jonathan quick with a terrific shot you can hear it hit the iron first and then go in and the Blackhawks have a three nothing lead Knocked away from him. All there to play it ahead. And here comes Nugent Hopkins out the center ice. In a line, nifty move with a shot, scores! All right, and there we have it, guys. There is our five-game win streak. We can finally pick up a rare player from the marketplace. So let's quickly take a look at the amount of coins we got this game. Uh, 600 for the completion, and we're going to get a total of just about 1,200 coins. And also taking a look at the stats here, 20 of 14 in shots, 10 minutes time on attack to 4 minutes. I probably threw in some like uh, sound bites of some other commentators commenting because you guys probably get tired of my voice sometimes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Radulov, Barkov, and Frolik getting the 3 stars. So our team played really well, so let's go ahead choose the 20th player from the marketplace. 
I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so after that game, we're now sitting at 21,970 coins, so that's where we're putting our buy now maximum at. And since we're on a 5 game win streak, we can set that level of rarity to rare. So hopefully we can pull something good here, and we'll have to see what we get. So we're choosing the 20th player, so we're going to go into the second page and start player number 15, because we know there's 14 players on this page. So player number 15 is Williams, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh my goodness, we were so close to our first team of the week, but we do pick up Nick Bukestad. Not a bad player as well, so let's go ahead, buy him out, see where he fits in. Alright, so cards are definitely really cheap right now. I bought the Nick Buke stat for about 600 coins from the marketplace, so we're still sitting at 21,370 coins for the next pickup, so still pretty excited about that. Uh, but he's playing on our third line center spot, Nick Buke stat, and I did take out Yori Laterra. And I didn't want to take out Ryan Nugent Hawkins because he does have the passing playmaker synergy going. Don't want to break that up right now. So uh, that is how our team is looking. Looking a lot stronger in that center spot. So pretty happy about that. However, let's get right into the second game of this episode. I'll meet you guys in there. Alright guys, second game. Uh, we're facing a guy with Neil Monaghan and Vander Kane on his first line. So a little bit easier than our last opponent. But this is a pretty big game for us because we can win the division right here. Come on. Oh my goodness. That almost went in. But uh, we can win our division right here and go into Division 6. So uh, this will be a pretty big game for us. Let's see if we can win this one. In front, there it is, Jason Palmville. He's not going to miss that. Post in, and we're only a minute into this game, and we've already scored. He took a uh, penalty there, a tripping penalty, and uh, we were able to capitalize on that power play. So, good start to this game. Let's keep it up. In front, off the stick of Cullen, and then out on right wing, Kessel. He's got Haglund, busting in. Carl Haglund to the goal. Scores! His first goal as a Penguin comes against the team that used to pay his wages. But Bukestad picked his pocket. Big Nick Bukestad is in over the line. Makes a move with the puck on the backhand. Score! Oh, Bukestad, all six, six of them. And after it, now stop here. Markov is shot blocked. Fires a chance to move in transition. Raiden Shen's ahead of the back. It's Shen in on goal. He scores! Raiden Shen. And the Flyers only go in Los Angeles. He has the... Oh man, that is pretty bad. Is he gonna rage quit? I mean, it's 5-0 in the second period. There's the rage quit. And we do win the Division 7 title, which I'm pretty happy about. 13-1 in shots. It is an absolute blowout. And it wasn't even close. So anyways, that means we are on a 6 game win streak now. We can open up two 15k packs. And uh, we get a nice little coin bonus from this game as well. So uh, we'll be choosing the 13th player as well. So I'll meet you guys and do all that stuff. So there we go guys, so as you guys can see, we are in Division 6, we still need another 7 points to stay in the Division, 10 more points to advance, and 12 points to get the title, so that should be happening in the next few episodes or so, uh, we still have 10 games to win that, so that should not be a problem, but uh, anyways, we did get about 2400 coins with that game, and uh, I'm pretty happy about that, because that's going to definitely help out our next couple pickups, but 6 game win streak means we can buy 2 15k packs and hopefully we can pull a November card and or a special card I don't care which one I just want to get something good but let's get these packs opened up we'll see what we get all right so the first pack 300 points I did go ahead and buy some more points from the marketplace so uh, we should be good for the next few episodes or so but let's get these opened up come on let's get something good here uh, we haven't pulled one special card yet in this series we're gonna get a Pittsburgh Penguins logo that should be a nice little five six hundred coins right there uh, Detroit Red Wings jersey. Let's see what our first rare player is, and it's going to be Eric Johnson. Not a special card, but a pretty good 85 overall defenseman. Uh, Philip Deneau. Uh, we also got Jason Chimera. Probably not going to use him. David Dayarnay. Dallas Stars away jersey. Ooh, I like that jersey. Can't complain about that jersey at all. Uh, Brian Fiddler. Might use him. Patrick Berglund. Uh, 85 overall right winger, and he's a rare card, so I could possibly use him. I'll figure that out in a little bit. Uh, Jamie Oleksiak, the big man. He's like six foot seven or six foot eight. Uh, what else do we have in here? More contracts. So, our two rare players, 85 overalls. 
Uh, we're going to see if we can get something better in the second pack. Alright, so I did send all the stuff I needed to my collection, sold off some of the jerseys and logos, and we're left with all these players. I'm going to be quick selling David DeHarnay, Jamie Oleksiak, and as well as Philip Deneau. I do not think they'll be making the roster anyway, so I will quick sell them. And I will keep Jason Chimera, Eric Johnson, and Patrick Berglund. So we'll send those guys to the collection. And uh, Jason Chimera has a speedster uh, synergy, so that could come in handy in a little bit in the future. But we're going to be opening up our second pack here. Things are selling in the marketplace, so the quick sells should be a little bit wonky right now. But let's get the second pack opened up. Come on, let's get something good. And uh, I mean, see if we can get one of those special cards. Just one. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking for. Alright, first pack we're going to get Mark Edward Vlasic. Alright, that's our first good pack pull. 87 overall, uh, left defenseman. That is nice. Oh man, unfortunately he doesn't have a Movember card, even though he looks like he does have a mustache in that uh, in that picture. Uh, Dennis Rasmussen. Um, we got a healing card, Mark Syke. Uh, Adam Henrique, not a bad player. I do like his card overall, and he does have the passing playmaker synergy, so he could re be replacing uh, uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, so that's pretty nice. And the rest of the players shouldn't be too good. Jacob Slavin, see if we got any other good players here. Uh, Sean Mathias, already have, so not a bad pickup. Mark Edward Vlasic, cannot complain about that at all, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to be keeping from this pack. Okay, so here is what we're left with. Obviously, Mark Edward Vlasic is staying on the team. Uh, the one T head coach, Brad Rome, I will be keeping because we don't have him yet. He could come in handy in the future. I will be selling Dennis Rasmussen, uh, Mark Syke as well from the Florida Panthers. We will be also selling Jacob Slavin. All pretty much non-rare goal players we're not going to be keeping because they're not going to make the team anyways. And we still have replacements for those guys in case. So anyways, we're going to be keeping the two rare goal players and Brad Rome. So let's send all those to the collection. Yeah, and I totally forgot, guys. Uh, we should also be buying a 7500 pack because we did get a shutout last game. And some of you guys will probably already be posting in the comments like, Oh, Lamb Chops, you forgot to open up the 7500 pack. So, didn't forget in this episode, but we'll get this pack opened up. And we have one more chance to get something good at least, right? And uh, things are definitely selling in the marketplace. Oh, there it is. We did sell one item. Uh, but let's take a look at what we're going to get from this pack. We still get one rare gold player. Jaden Schwartz, all right, 86 overall. I mean, we do need some more good uh, left wingers on our team. Team Austria, uh, Michael Latta. So our team is getting a lot better after this episode. And uh, Igor Skewen, not a bad coach as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and I'll send some of the stuff to the collection, show you guys what I'm keeping. And here's what we're left with with this pack. Uh, I will be keeping Dominic Moore because he does have some good face-offs. And in case I lose a game in the future and I need a replacement, Dominic Moore is definitely not a bad player and he does have 85 skating, so that's definitely not a bad card to use. We'll be quick selling Michael Latta though, we'll not be needing him, so we'll send everything else to the collection and our team's getting a lot better, which I'm happy about. And uh, let's go ahead and do our pickup now, everything should be sold by now. Let's take a quick look, two items left, alright, I'll, I'll wait. Alright, so the item's finally sold. And uh, we're now sitting at 30,690 coins, so definitely not bad for our next pickup of Hot Roulette. Uh, we're going to be choosing the 13th player because we did get 13 shots last game. So let's go ahead, choose this player. Let's see what we get. It's going to be player number 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. There we go, guys. Our first team of the week pickup. Mark Mathot, he's not like an offensive player, but uh, he is a defenseman. Let's quickly take a look at his synergies. Defensively responsible, as well as IS. I think that's long shot. I'm not 100% sure, but not a bad pickup. We'll go ahead, buy him out, see where he fits in. All right, so our team is a lot better after all those pickups from the packs and from the pickup from the marketplace. You can see that all of our players right now are all rare gold players, both on our offense and defense. So that's going to make our team a lot more competitive heading into Division 6 of Hot Roulette. So uh, I'll quickly go through the team and I'll show you guys what we're going to be playing with heading into the next episode of Hot Roulette. So uh, first line, we got Jane Schwartz, Jordan Stahl, and Jason Palmville. On the second, Alexander Radulov, Barkov, and Carl Hagelin. On the third, we got Marcus Johansson, Nick Bukestad, and Brayden Shen. And on the fourth, we got Michael Froelich, Adam Henrique, and Boone Jenner. So pretty awesome offensive lineups. Going to the defense, we got Tyler Myers, 
our new pickup, Mark Edward Vlasic. Uh, we also got Mark Mathot, the new team of the week. I did figure out IS meant Iron Shins. I did not, I've never used that synergy before, so I didn't know what it actually stood for. Uh, Mike Green as well on that uh, second line left defenseman spot. And we did put in Eric Johnson instead of Colton Pareko, uh, only because he has a little bit of better skating, and I want to have some better skating defensemen heading into Division 6, as well as Hampus Lindholm in our third line right defensive spot. So that is how our team is looking. Goalies have not changed at all. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode. I'm going to wrap it up here. I will try to post out some more Hot Roulette episodes in the next coming weeks. I do have some time off, so I should be able to find some time in my schedule to make some more Hot Roulette videos, as well as some more videos uh, relating to NHL 17. So that is just about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and let me know that you guys are enjoying it. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. You go first. You go, Rylan. Keep going. Backhand, forehand action, and Pongo finishes it off. That is textbook. And uh, right now, we make it 3 to nothing. So only 8.3 seconds left in the